Contestant number four, A. Shamraj. Don't eat that apple. <laughs> Don't eat that apple. A. Shamraj. Imagine you and I can travel back to 8.40 a.m. I mean, a minute ago from now. Now, don't go back to the previous speech on apples. I just asked you to go back a minute ago. <laughs> when I was here, when the focus lights were on me, when the contest master was about to announce my name, I got a tingling effect in my body. And that's my common sense leaving my body. <laughs> when common sense leaves, something else creeps. And people call that fear. What is fear? Ma'am, you. She got a heart attack now. <laughs> that is fear. And now, sham you. When the contest master reads my title, I get the same fear. Now, my destiny of becoming a public speaker is being blocked by this problem, stage fear. And I'm waiting for a bypass to this problem. Meanwhile, imagine you and I can travel back to the year 2002. Want to feel young? Come with me. I'm 25 now. 20 now. I'm 14 years old now. What was my problem at that age? My dear friends, four out of 10 kids have memory loss in Asia. And I was the topper of the four kids in my area. <laughs> memory loss was my problem. And in that condition, my history teacher always compared me with the topper of my class, Rahul. Sham, you can never remember things the way Rahul does. Rahul remembers who in World War II lost to whom. Can you remember where in this world you lost your history book? Now, I wanted to become that Rahul desperately. So one day, I prepared my lessons very hard. And the next day, I walked into the staff room, stood right in front of the teacher and said, Sir, Shah Jahan fell in divine love with his wife and built Taj Mahal using 20,000 slaves beside the river Yamuna. Adolf Hitler committed suicide in 1945. Egypt is famous for the Great Pyramids on the River Nile. China is famous for the Great Wall of China. Kangaroos are found only in Australia and it is the national animal of this country. The teacher politely said, My son, it's all right. I have proved myself is wrong. I have proven myself is right. I am not your history teacher, I am your English teacher. <laughs> now remember, he is your history teacher. I walked to my history teacher and he said, Yeah, tell me. Buh, buh. Sir, Adolf Hitler fell in divine love with his wife and built Taj Mahal beside the river Yamuna, sir. 20,000 kangaroos jumped over the Great Wall of China and committed suicide in 1945. The pyramids were constructed by Shah Jahan beyond Yamuna, sir. <laughs> now, my destiny of becoming that Rahul was blocked by my problem, memory loss. And I was waiting for a bypass to my problem. Meanwhile, what if you and I can travel millions and millions and millions of years ago? It's believed Adam, the first man, took a bite of this apple, and we all landed here on Earth from paradise. But wait, Adam's bite was not the first bite. Adam's madam's bite was the first bite. <laughs> now, Adam's and Eve's, Adam's and Eve's, stop looking at each other. It's too late to complain each other. Eve's, it's okay, you had a good taste. Adam's, it's okay, you still have a good taste. But, but, when Eve took the first bite of this apple, Adam landed on a problem with two options. Eve or paradise? Love or luxury? His destinies, Eve and paradise, were blocked by his problem, the apple. But my dear friends, this Adam did not wait for a bypass to his problem. He just thought, thought, thought bit the apple and walked into the problem. On one hand, he swept off Eve. On the other hand, he built paradise here on earth. You want the evidence? 
Now answer my question. If God appears right in front of you and says, come with me, I will take you to that paradise, how many of you here are ready to die and say bye to this earth? <laughs> None? Now that's the evidence that Adam has created paradise on earth. Now that's the evidence that Adam has created solutions walking into the problem. <laughs> now my friends, I really do not know if there was an Adam or an Eve that brought us here, but I definitely know that each of us here has an apple in our life that stops us from our destiny. The apple may be your stage fear, your memory loss, or even a problem with the great Lord. But what do you choose to do with these apples? Would you treat them forbidden and wait for a bypass to these problems? Or face them, taste them, live with those problems and love those problems? The problem, my dear friends, is the solution. Now, shall we walk back to the year 2002? My apple here was my memory loss. I decided to taste it and walk into the problems. Yes, friends, I can't remember history the way Rahul remembers, but Rahul can't forget his failures, rejections, and dejections the way I forget. <laughs> Memory loss is bliss. And to understand that, you simply have to taste this apple and walk into your problem. Now shall we take a cool walk to eight, 40 a.m. Common sense, gone. Fear, crept in. But I've decided to taste this apple and walk into this problem. And there the contest master goes. Contestant number four, Shamraj, don't eat that apple. Don't eat that apple, Shamraj. I'm sorry, sir. As usual, I forgot my title. It's actually bite that apple. So now bite this apple, contest master. <laughs>